Let's go back to Canberra now because David Pocock, as I mentioned at the start of the this program, is he is the one who could decide whether the SIR bill uh, does pass not. or not, uh -huh. certainly in the immediate term. Holiday. He hasn't made up his mind, it but let's see where he's at. Too many Australians, too many workers, too many small businesses. My priority has been working through the detail, consulting, uh, ensuring that we get the details right. As I've said to the, the government over and over, 85, 90 percent of this bill would, would pass today in the Senate. It, it has my support. It's the last details with some really serious and, and valid concerns being raised from, from all sides, really. You've got unions raising some concerns about the modified uh, boot, boot test um, to some concerns around the details of the single interest and how that, how that might play out. Think you need more time over Christmas? Not sure. I've said to the I've said to the government that I think we'll need more time just to get through all the other really important legislation. You know, the NAC. Uh, we've got a, an EV discount bill coming up. Territory rights is something that I want to ensure happens. I've got a firm commitment from the government on that. So, not sure. Um, I guess I'm I'm focusing on on the process and, and trying to get it right. Just Sorry. Sorry, Senator, just, just sweeping in on that one. Would you rather see, do you want to see a vote on that go ahead before the IR bill is dealt with, given it is quite close to your heart? Mm -hmm. My concern with leaving territory rights to the end is, given how much there is currently coming before the Senate, you can imagine a real log jam. I don't want it to get caught up in that. So I would, I would like to see it dealt with separately. I think it makes sense. It's a, um, it's a conscience vote, so let's allow everyone to speak and then let's bring it to a vote and we can finally see where people sit on it. OK, there's a bit of horse trading going on. David Pocock remaining firm, uh, this whole IR bill. He said 85 to 95 per cent of it he actually uh, supports, but he's not going to pass this omnibus uh, bill when he still has concerns about the better off overall tests and uh, those IR changes that could see, you know, industry-wide strikes. So nothing's changed. It could be a long couple of weeks in Parliament.